In this video, I want to take some time to look at Alpha, specifically how we use Alpha inside Camtasia, and how we can use these Alpha mats either on a track or using the matte visual effect. So to start, let's understand what Alpha means when we talk about it. Sometimes we'll talk about it as Alpha transparency, and that's really what it is. We are letting something through. We're letting something look transparent. So here in Camtasia, you can see that I have this RH logo, and you can see this item on the right has the alpha, whereas the item on the left does not. And what you can see is that with the alpha, that just means that the corners or the outside or the background of this element are transparent. You can see right through them. Whereas on this one, you can't. So if I just want this one item, you can see that it does have corners just like the other one does, but what's there is transparent. I can see through it. So if I move it over here, you can see whatever's behind it all the way in the corner. Whereas with this one, we can't see it, right? When I put it anywhere over here, you can't see what's underneath the corner. Now that we understand that alpha is transparency, let's see how we can use alpha in Camtasia. And like I said in the intro, there are a couple ways we can use it. The first is with a track. So we can right click this eye icon on a track and we can choose alpha or alpha invert. What that does is that makes everything in this track, every single item in this track, alpha or not. And if you're using Camtasia 2020, then that's your only option. But in newer versions of Camtasia, we now can go to visual effects and add a media mat to any specific clip in here, rather than making the entire track an alpha track. So if you have 2021 or newer, I recommend using the media mat. When I think about alpha, I think about using a cookie cutter. So we think about having the dough and then using a cookie cutter to cut out some shape from our dough, and then we have that cookie shape. Now, the typical way we use alpha is to think about it in terms of three different tracks. The first will be the cookie cutter shape. The second will be what we're cutting out. And then the third will be the background. So let's look at how we can apply this inside Camtasia. In this example, you can see I have a slide that I want for a background. I have a video of me smiling and talking there. And I have my cutout for alpha to be this star shape. All right, so let's try to apply all of these. So I'll move my playhead here. And let's say that I want to just cut out my head and then place it over top of this background track. Okay, so let's try that. I said one way to do that is to right click and choose alpha and there it is. So it cut out a star shape from this video track and applied it on top of the slide track. Let's look at that in the 2021 version. I'll change this back to none. And if I apply media mat to this, then I can make sure that alpha is selected here in the properties panel and the same effect is applied. Now, if I was cutting out a shape like a star or a circle, I would typically want those two things to be down here in the lower right, perhaps, and maybe even a bit smaller, like 50%. And I can rearrange these and do something like that. All right, let's look at this next example. Here I have the word ice written and then a video behind it that is ice crystals forming. So if we think about this, I want to have the word ice cut out and I only want to see this ice forming under the letters I C E. So let's apply the media mat to that. Now when I play through, I can see these ice crystals forming and only showing the letters that I have selected. Now, why doesn't it show anything else behind? Well, because I don't have anything in that background. Let's look at a different option. Let's look at alpha invert. In this case, think about your cookie sheet and how we would take a cookie cutter and cut out that cookie shape and keep it. Let's now think about throwing that cookie shape away and keeping what's left keeping everything around that shape. That's what alpha invert is going to do. It's going to cut out the cookie shape and actually throw that away and use everything that's left. So let's try that. For this ice example, I liked how that worked, but I think alpha invert works just as well here. If we keep this black background, if I play through, you can see that ice forms and then we see everything but the letters from ice forming the crystals, which I think is pretty cool. Now this last one, I have the word fire and so let's apply a media mat to that. And this time we said, let's try alpha invert. So what we're doing again is we're saying, let's cut out the word fire and show everything else around it. So we want to keep all the ice from here, except for the letters F I R E, and then show what's below it on the last track. And so now you can see the word fire with this video behind it as ice is forming around it. And I think that's a pretty cool effect to show how that works. So I hope that that explains a little bit more about what alpha is and how we can apply it in our videos. Again, we have the three elements. We have the shape that we're going to cut out. And then are we going to show 
that shape over top of the background or are we going to cut out that shape and show background instead? So think about how you want to use alpha, whether you want to use alpha or alpha invert. Now, if you're not sure which one to use, alpha or alpha invert, it's pretty simple. Just try the one, and if it doesn't produce the result you expected, try the other one. If you're looking for more training on Camtasia, be sure to head over to cammastery.com where you can learn more about how to use Camtasia to create professional-looking videos. I'm Ron. I'll see you in the next video. So long.